Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh, and Tay refuses to come to this hot room, and I don't blame her. Um, so I'm gonna be reacting to, reacting to um Lee Evans. You guys have been asking for him for a long time. This is trying to enjoy yourself on holiday. This is one of the main ones you guys have been asking for, and also I think the number two you asked for is I guess Lee Evans on eight out of ten cats, like um a compilation. Hope I'm not mixing that up with another one, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's on a list over here somewhere. Um, so guys, remember to con continue to leave comments below. All our reactions are based on what you guys put in the comments. And if you're subscribed, we check those out first. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to jump into this. They're on a scam in these hotels. They are. You ever read the bloke who shows you up to your room? He's brilliant. He shows you up to your room and he shows you everything in the room. He goes, ah, this is your room. Huh? Huh? This is your bathroom, your bed. Huh? <laughs> then he switches on the telly. And then he wants a tip for switching on the telly. Is this something you want to fucking watch, mate, is it? <laughs> what, we don't know how that works. We'll be in reception in an hour ago. We've been staring at the TV, but fuck what's happening. <laughs> he didn't show us how the bog works. How does he know we can work that? He didn't sit on the bog and go, now, this is your toilet, huh? <laughs> if you're having a large poo, <laughs> it's a shit plus shit, OK? <laughs> how everything in the room works. This is your wife, this is how she works. <laughs> you rub her like this. <laughs> Take her to the bed, fucking get out. <laughs> when you throw me out, grab my colour, fuck off. <laughs> oh, I've never had a fancy hotel, so I don't really know what that's like. He's still funny because he's kind of, he's animated. But um, I've never been to a fancy hotel. Only the really cheap ones. I think they're... Yeah, I've been to a few motels. <laughs> but not fancy five-star stuff, now. That's the thing when you're on holiday as well. Your wife always says the same thing. Try and enjoy yourself. <laughs> try and enjoy yourself. Yeah, How do it. you try and enjoy yourself? What's that? <laughs> I'm mean, always checking. Are you enjoying yourself yet? Are you enjoying yourself yet? Yes! <laughs> you don't look like you're enjoying yourself. I don't know how that looks. <laughs> I'm looking in the brochure at the bloke in the brochure. I'm in the restaurant. <laughs> out by the fucking pool. <laughs> the thing is, if you start enjoying yourself, your wife is the first one to come up to you and go, ah, all right, fucking calm down. <laughs> Swat. <laughs> you know? You're the first one to do it. <laughs> That is super true. Jesus Christ. Like, um, Tay always tells me, like, I'm one of those people who, like, honestly, the trip ruins the destination for me, airports, all that type of jazz. Going through that and I get there, I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm so wore off from that. But, yeah, she always me enjoy myself, but when I start getting really goofy, she's like, would you stop being so loud? Like, Jesus Christ, you get too loud. Like, well, you told me to enjoy myself, now I'm excited, I'm too loud. That's another thing you do on your holidays. You never do that. It's unbelievable. You only do this when you're on holidays. You walk around the shops half naked. You do. No, I'm serious. You'd be walking around like the shopping centres, like, and your wife would be in like a, a, a swimsuit, right, and a sarong, which is Taiwanese for I'd me arse. <laughs> and blokes would be in a pair of speedos and some sandals fucking strolling around the shops, right? <laughs> Picking stuff up. Look at that, love. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You wouldn't do that here, though, would you? Walk around Asda's in your fucking underpants. <laughs> Picking stuff up. Look, love, they've got sausages, they've got sausages. <laughs> <laughs> That's some people's idea of a bad dream, that is. Walk around the high street, half naked, you wake up that night in a cold sweat. Oh, 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 what's the matter, love? Oh, terrible dream, I was naked in the high street. Were you on your holidays? Yeah, that's all right then. <laughs> You ever try blowing up your kid's lilo down the beach? Fuck yeah, no. You always forget to buy the pump. And the kid sat there looking at you, you're pumping away. <laughs> After about 15 minutes, a red mist has descended over your fucking eyes. Your jaw's locked up. You're breathing in carbon dioxide. You're out your fucking head. <laughs> you might as well be on heroin, really. There should be, should be people dealing with this stuff on street corners. Do you want some lilo? Do you want some lilo? <laughs> you got any dingies? You got any dingies, man? Dingies. <laughs> Just a couple of armbands, armbands, yeah? <laughs> 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 
But I love that question they ask you at the airport. I love it. It gets me every time. You know, you're at the airport, they ask you those security questions, they always say the same thing. Has anyone put anything in your bag without you knowing it? <laughs> How the fuck would we know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and there's only one thing you can do at the airport, and that's shop. That's why they keep us there for two hours, to make us shop. They do. That's what they do it for. Like, all blogs buy new sunglasses, always, to go on holiday. But, and I hate that sunglasses rack, because there's always some bugger the other side wants to spin it, so you end up looking in those little mirrors, fucking like that, you know? <laughs> there's only one use for sunglasses when you're abroad, uh, for blokes, to look at other women. And don't say you don't, because you... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'd be down the beach, pair of sunglasses on, pretending to read a book, like... <laughs> Yo, that's super smart. I never thought about that. My head's too big for sunglasses. They just seem to smush right here in the middle. Uh, but yeah, that's a good idea. Because I, I get caught every time looking. Every time. I'm just not good. Try to do the... Been on that same page for two fucking hours. <laughs> and from nowhere, you let your wife go, nice, is she? <laughs> <laughs> what did she see through these? <laughs> They're Polaroids. They're mirrored on one side. They should get rid of that x-ray machine at the airport. She could just stand there. There's a knife in there. There's a knife. <laughs> drugs in that one. Fucking drugs. Drugs. That was good. Only thing I can really relate to is like the guy showing you stuff in the room, but it was still funny because it was so freaking animated with it. I enjoy him. I haven't, um... I didn't laugh at him as much as I laughed at some of the other people, though, but he's still funny. I'm just, I'm like, I'm just getting to, like, his, um... I don't know why I'm freaking, like, stuttering. But, like, he's still funny. Um, not as money, funny as, um... I keep forgetting names, so I keep stuttering. Mickey Flanagan. Like, he's still, like, on the top of the list right now for, for me. Like, Mickey Fl Flanagan. And, Jesus Christ. I wish I could get back. Frankie Boyle. That freaking Jesus Christ said. Man. The Michael Jackson's Children's Hospital. Man. I got some hate for that one, man. I got some rude comments for that one. Some thumbs downs for that one. But it doesn't change the fact that it was hilarious. I still enjoy him. I, the only thing I can relate to is like the, unless all you guys hotels have like a nice friendly guy showing you around all that kind of stuff or like when you're in like, I'm assuming it was in France because in France, he's doing a French accent. Um, but like here, no, they don't show you jack court squat. You get your card and you go to your room. But I've never stayed in any like a like a Hilton hotel or anything like that. Just the cheaper ones like the best westerns and that type of jazz. <clears throat> and he's so funny. He's a really animated guy, man. I, I like that. That's I love a lot of movement with comedians. That always really adds to it. It adds to the whole thing with um. I guess the whole narrative is the best, but like whenever they're telling like the story is really, really great. But um, yeah, so far I gotta watch some more of his stuff. Still, got, I have to say, frankly, it's Frankie Boyle and Mickey Flanagan are like the top two on my list right now, with people I've enjoyed the most. I'm trying to think of somebody else who I enjoyed. Um, I, if I think if I scroll over here, I could probably find somebody. I just can't. When the name pops in front of my face, I'm just so freaking. I apologize. I'm terrible with names. Um. I can't remember. I don't think I've watched any of um, Jimmy Carr's, like, actually, like, any of his actual stand-up. But I enjoy his stuff, too, because it's so, like, um, like, harsh. You no, know, Ricky Gervais. He's on that list, too. So i say Ricky Gervais, um, Mickey Flanagan, Frankie Boyle, and, um, who else did I say? Yeah, who else did I say, too? I've, I'm, just, I'm just terrible on names. When I see it, it'll pop in my head again. It'll pop in my head again when I see it. I, I've enjoyed um, Kevin Bridges too, but when he was the funniest thing he was almost when he was trying to when he said he bought a horse, and just the fact that people could really hear what he's saying, that really added to it. His stand ups have been good though, but I don't have him. I have to watch more of his stuff so I can move him up on the list. He's still good, but I gotta watch more of his stuff, move him up on the list. But right now, I still, I still say Mickey Flanagan is the, is the top. Yeah, Mickey, Mickey Flanagan is the top. Then right below that is Frankie Boyle. Um, you know what? Peter K. I forgot about Peter K. He's really good, too. I put him as number three. And then Jimmy Carr. Yeah. So, I got to really start thinking through, like, the those list. But I enjoy him. Lee Evans is funny. I got to watch. He's been recommended a lot. So, I know he has a lot more stuff. And um, But this one's recommended a lot, too. Trying to enjoy Holiday and a couple others. But I enjoy this. He's super animated. He's really funny. Um, the sunglasses are a good idea. Unfortunately, my head's too fat. Sunglasses just honestly just mesh in the middle. I'm pretty sure they. I've never tried enough on to like, but I've I've worn enough to know I look stupid. Um, I haven't tried to get any expensive ones or nothing, but all the ones I've tried on I look stupid. There's one pair I would keep in my eye just in my car when I'm driving, just because sun's really bad, and I'll put them on in my car, but I'm not gonna wear them. I, they're they're more for functionality, not for style at all. Just enough to get the sun out of my eye. 
yeah. I enjoyed this. This is funny. I want to check out um, a lot more of his stuff. That way I can move him up in the brackets of people, um, of comedians. And I'm just doing stand-up right now in regards to this bracket that I'm making. Um, in regards to shows, so far, the compilation of In this was really funny, but the, what do you call, the Ricky Gervais show is the funniest show. I would say the Ricky Gervais show is the funniest um, show that I've checked out. And I definitely want to watch a lot more of those uh, in the podcast. So but I think that, that's all. I don't want to ramble too long, guys. Thank you very much for recommending um, Lee Mack. I really enjoyed him. And um, Lee Evans. I just said Lee Mack. <laughs> Thanks for recommending Lee Evans. I definitely want to check out some more stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, and sorry for butchering the names. My memory just, I don't know. When I see it, it pops in my head, but it takes me so much to cycle through. Uh, with all the stuff, but yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of um, Android Graham Norton too. It's kind of hard to make a list. All these are so good, but for comedians, I'm just gonna stay. I'm sticking with Mickey Flanagan. He's the funniest so far. All right, guys, that's all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.